hello what's up youtube Ronix with a brand new tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you a technique that is not only going to color grade your images it is going to add shine or glow to skin in your images and also add that kind of shape or dimension to your photos in just photoshop so it is going to be a simple technique and it is going to do three things at once for you right in photoshop so before you can proceed, I just request that you hit the like button so that YouTube can promote this and push this to more people interested in learning photography, skin retouching, and all we do here in general. So I just request that you hit the like button just right now. Okay, hoping you're done hitting the like button on this video. Let's just proceed and we we'll learn about that nice and beautiful technique. We're going to be using the curves adjustment layers and the color range option in just Photoshop. So we are going to come to the adjustments right here and we are going to come to and create a curves adjustment layer right there. So we are not going to do any adjustment to this curves adjustment layer. We are just going to leave it the way it is meant to be or the way it is meant to look. Then we are going to come right here to select and come all the way down to color range. Okay, so we are now in the color range interface of Photoshop. And this is what you have to do if at all your color range window is looking a little bit different. Just come right here to select and change it to sampled colors right here. And also make sure localized colors is not checked right here. And after doing that, make sure the color, color picker tool or the eyedropper tool without a plus or minus sign has been selected and is active. Then here make sure you not select your image, make sure selection is active. So make sure the selection preview is active. And here you would love to see your options as you're working on the image. So right here we have quick mask, so make sure also quick mask is selected. So right here we are in the interface of uh, this nice and beautiful filter. We just want to sample the highlights and the shadows of this image. So in order to sample the highlights and the shadows in this image, you have to see or look at the image right now. It is a little bit looking so red, but you shouldn't get worried about all this. So just come and use the, your eyedropper tool. So this is the eyedropper tool or color picker tool and click on the area that has a highlight. So in this case, when we tend to come and move the fuzziness, you can see that our color picker tool is selecting that area but you can see the selection is not really looking fine so just come and again click on the highlighted area right there i hope you can see that right now so right now we can see that the selected area is the highlights and you can see on the quick or selection mode right here our mask is showing that the white area is the targeted or selected area. You can see that white area. But you can as well increase on the fuzziness to increase on the range of our selection. So I think this right here is a little bit fine and okay. You can see the white areas are the selected areas of our image right here. So I'm just going to come and we click OK right there. And this is going to open our curves adjustment layer. Remember. Initially, we hadn't played around with this adjustment, so right now is the time to play around with this curves adjustment layer too. Remember, we are now brightening. Remember, in the color range option, we targeted the brightest areas in the photo, which is the highlights in the skin of a model. So just come and simply click in the middle right here and just brighten it up slightly. Don't take it all the way up because that is going to look weird. So just do a subtle fill and that is fine close this and we're going to name this into our dodge and you're going to do the same for the shadow area so just come back to the curves adjustment layers so just going to come to the curves and we don't tamper with this at this case leave it the way it is and come back right here to select and come to color range so when you come to color range remember the, in the previous option, we targeted the highlights, so it is the time to target the shadows of the image. So I'm just going to assume that my shadows are just in these areas. And you can see the targeted area is this white area in the image. And you can 
increase or decrease on the fuzziness to be really precise. So I think at around 70, this looks fine. And I'm going to come right here and I hit OK. You can see right now it is not affecting the shadows. But remember what we did with the bright areas. We came and clicked in the middle and we brightened. So right now we just want to darken or darken more the shadow areas of this image. So we're just going to come, click right in the middle right here. And you're going to take it down slightly to darken uh, the shadows. Don't take it all the way down because that is going to look awkward. Just take it slightly down right there. I hope that looks fine. And you're going to close this and you're going to rename this to burn right there. So you can see the before and after for our burn. So we have just darkened the shadow areas and we have just brightened the bright areas in the image. And now the skin is glowing. It looks fine and the image has that nice and beautiful shape and dimension. And I forgot to mention, if at all you feel like uh, the opacity is too much for your liking, you can come and drop down or reduce on the opacity of a particular dodge or burn layer. Or if at all you feel like it is slightly distorting the colors of the image, just come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to luminosity and you can do the same for the band change it all the way down to luminosity and it's not going to be affecting the colors of the image so we're just going to put this in a group by hitting or selecting both and clicking ctrl command g on the keyboard and we can name our group dodge and burn right there and we're going to see the before and after this is the before and after before after you can see it has added that nice and chocolate kind of feel to the skin tone and it has also enhanced the highlights and the shadows in the image and thirdly it has brought a little bit of shine or glow within the skin of the model so if at all you feel like that is too much you can come and slightly drop down the opacity of the whole group to a reasonable uh, amount so i'm think i'm thinking of around 50 50 can do can be good so you can see the before after before after so basically this is how you can easily add shape or dimension to your images how to add glow or shine to skin in photoshop and also how to slightly add that kind of color grading feel to your photos in photoshop so this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating